I was having lots of headaches and I was losing my vision just like when you go outside in the sun you try to come back inside you get the blurry black um, bits in your eyes and um, severe headaches so I was always having days off work and everything because of the headaches so I had a CT scan and they said are you seeing your doctor we insist that you see your doctor straight away I went and saw my doctor Dr Tran and Ingleburn and he goes and uh, you have a brain tumour. I remember being told, um, sitting in the hospital room, and a doctor came in and actually said, Linda, we give you about 18 months. My employers were unbelievably um, supportive. I'd yell out because of being a teacher, someone needs to take my class, and I'd run to the toilet and have a bit of uh, uh, and then run back and they go, thank you. And um, then I'd say, sometimes I'd get sick and the principal would drive me home or the deputy principal would drive me home. And, but they still allowed me to work and, and try and do the best I could. Matt always knew about my cancer and um, I made it pretty clear he didn't really need to ask about it. I was very open and told him all about it from the start. Well, I, th I think when we first got together, we were just happy being together. What came from after that was, as long as we were together, that was my main focus at the time. Yeah, we both wanted to have children and family, but it wasn't anything that... Uh, it certainly wasn't something that was going to stop me from dating Belinda any further. Or I got asked that question actually quite early on. I think that was one of the questions she did ask me was, uh, do you know well, it's a possibility that I may not be able to? And uh, yeah, I think I always knew deep down that it was always going to happen for us. So and I did. When I was on the phone and I was standing next to her. I didn't have to. Uh, it was, po it was a positive result yeah. because uh, the screaming was enough. I think <laughs> they could hear it from down the street, so <laughs> they knew we were pretty happy about that. We had to um, have another MRI, and I still remember sitting in the lounge room, open, opening up the envelope where they said, do not open this envelope unless you're a, a doctor. Yes. Dr. Belinda opens it and pulls <laughs> it out. I've read so many, you know the medical jargon, you know all of that, and I pulled it out and I've just started reading it. And um, Matt was sitting over in the lounge and um, I remember reading it and I've just gone, Rummy, I'm really sorry. He goes, what are you sorry about? It's back. Matt and I spoke down ago. I'm skinny at the moment. I said, so it's a perfect time to get married. And he agreed. And I said, and there's three weeks before the um, surgery. and um, we picked the date and everything and I said I want hair on my wedding date I said so that was the big, biggest motivation I, I wanted hair It's a brilliant day the, we couldn't have planned anything better if we tried like, we had three weeks to plan the wedding and we probably did it in about 72 hours Yeah
and I'm there going. It was quite an emotional time. Blinda's sort of screaming and dancing and in tears. Her mum and dad had actually just turned up uh, that day. They'd been on a two-week cruise. Uh, they walked into the waiting room. <laughs> um, and I requested that um, Narelle and um, Marie and it was a quite It was quite a fanfare yeah. to have everybody there. And, uh, and it was really nice because they are like Belinda's family because they've Watch seen her. They've, they've basically yeah. seen her since she was 23 years of age, yeah. have kids, get married. Um, and they've been there through the whole journey with her, a lot of the staff there. And um, the, everybody came down to wish her well. And, um, uh, hugs and kisses all around. And I sat there just talking to them and hugging them and saying, you don't get to see me anymore. Oh, what are we going to do? I'm not angry or bitter about anything when it comes to cancer. Cancer is a six letter word. I'm not going to let a six letter word dictate my life. There's bigger things and better things out there to be done. And for us now, we've just taken it that we're not, I guess, we're not reckless by any means with what we spend or anything like that. We're just a normal family still, but um, priorities as far as uh, enjoying life enjoying our kids and things like that and holidays with our family they're just they're important to us now going to work works just a means to a, an end for us to actually enjoy life i think with having the two boys uh, having a brand new baby in our, in our life I was for me that was the biggest thing was that if i'm lost blended up I didn't know whether or not I could do it by myself. Grammy, it's all happy.